co-creating language with Sandra Collins and Gina Co. Counselors co-create language to foster shared understanding with clients. By highlighting phrases or words that seem meaningful to the client, or by suggesting language to describe the client's experiences, often in the form of a metaphor. Hi, Gina. Welcome back. Hi, Sandra. Last time we were talking, you were looking at how to um, make some shifts in your schedule. And at the end of that conversation, um, I suggested that um, it was about a balancing of these pockets of needs, your clients needs, your own needs, your family needs, which you seem to resonate with. Providing transparency, overviewing. I'm wondering if you've thought any more about that. Probing. Oh, yes, absolutely. I've thought more. Um, so I think what I will do is to actually execute and block off right now I'll start with one to two maybe I'll maybe yeah let me just think here I'll start with one one consistent evening a week I'll block it off from seeing clients and see how that goes small steps mm -hmm. and as you think about blocking off that one um, specific evening what do you think the um, the positive and the potentially negative outcomes of that might be questioning. Uh, okay. So I, when I think of doing that, then I think about having the, the need to have conversations with my clients saying that now my business hours have shifted a little bit. Um, and right now I can continue to keep them, um, updated on how many weeks out I am with my evening appointment time. They want to see me during the day. I have many more openings, right? So I think the positive with that is then we can talk a little bit about, you know, self-care and balance with my clients, which I have already, of course, all the time. That's a positive, I think. I think clients can learn from our own modeling mm -hmm. and their own practice. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to tell you that maybe potentially the negatives? Sure. Yeah. The negative could be that then um, the other evening may be really full, right? And then I have to further, my next step is even blocking off another evening. So it might just look different um, and clients will likely have to adjust. Mm -hmm. yeah, some might not like that as much, but I'm not sure yet. Mm -hmm. As you were talking, I was thinking that it's kind of like um, having all of these eggs and sticking them from, you know, five baskets into four baskets, and you still have all the same eggs. Co-creating language. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. You're right, because then what that would mean is that my daytime will likely fill up more, right? And my evening time would be lighter, right? Mm -hmm. And you said a minute ago that your evening, the other evening slots might become more busy with less space for you and your own self-care um, if the clients are kind of then just moving into another evening. Reflecting meaning. Yes, if, if they feel like they can wait and move to another evening or then or they'll adjust and see me during the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if they adjusted and saw you during the day, um, would that feel would that would that um, create a scenario where you have less eggs to juggle? Clarifying. Mm. One thing that I'm thinking about right now is, um, you know, I, I became an avid golf golfer in the past few years. I usually do golf in the, I try to golf a few times during the weekday in the mornings. But if I'm going to take some evenings now off, then I will fill up those spots. Then my exercising in terms of golf would be best during the weekday. I'll be moving to the weekends, mm -hmm. yeah. which is possible. I just won't be golfing as much which 
I, I can live with that right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. As you um, kind of process these shifts, what's the primary goal in making these shifts? Questioning. Well, the primary goal is, is for sure balance, right? You know, having this balance life where it's not just solely on, you know, everything on one, in one, one basket. Right? I, like, I do like the basket metaphor, actually. I do. Um, and I'm picturing colorful eggs for some reason. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> so uh, maybe those chocolate uh, eggs, mini eggs. <laughs> Co-creating language. Um, balance, because as we know, as therapists, Sandra, when we are off balance, that we're off kilter, then, you know, things can go awry, right? Mm -hmm. Our, you know, our well-being, our relationships with our family members and friends and people we love, yeah, might not do go so well. So for sure, balance. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. I, I like the idea of the chocolate egg. So I'm still stuck on that because what it says to me is that you love all of those eggs. Co-creating language. Yes, I love chocolate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's not like these are things that are, are, and I think you've been clear about this. It's not like the anything that you're talking about here is something you don't want to do and you don't have a passion for and you don't love, right? So then the trick is, I like the balance of that because the trick then is yes I love all of these things all of these colored eggs um, but I have to find a way to balance these things in my life so mm -hmm. that you have space summarizing yes yes 